Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Lot has changed since Galwan conflict between India and China. Two years after the deadly skirmish which took India by surprise has also made it better prepared to tackle the dragon. Indian Army and Air Force has literally converted LAZ into a fortress that China cannot even dream to enter. The key to maintain a stronghold at LSE is surveillance. And who can do this job better than drones? Many of us are not even aware of the huge number of drones being operated by Indian Armed Forces. Indian Army has deployed four newly procured Heron TP drones from Israel in Ladakh sector to keep a close eye on Chinese movement. These drones have maximum endurance of 30 hours. Indian Army and Air Force currently operates 15 and 75 Heron Mark I drones respectively. It is a battle proven unmanned drone primarily used for surveillance and reconnaissance. Indian Armed Forces have planned to upgrade and weaponize these drones under Project Cheetah which is still pending. To further augment its surveillance along LSE, in January 2021, Army had signed a contract with Idea Forge for switch UAVs worth $20 million for an undisclosed number. According to company, it has fulfilled the first order as per contractual obligation. And as per a few sources, the first order was for nearly 240 drones. Idea Forge has also won a repeat contract from Army to supply 200 more UAVs in 2022. The switch UAVs are the only system that has emerged successful from the rigorous testing and field trials that Army is well known for. The Army's trust in a tactical UAV itself speaks about its performance. The UAV has a line of sight range of 15 km and can withstand wind speed of 20 km per hour. It has maximum flight time of 2 hours. If we take a rough approximation, Indian Army will be operating more than 400 of these drones in coming years. Next ones are Searcher. The Searcher was first deployed in 1992 and later Searcher Mark II was introduced in the year 2000. It is a multi-mission tactical UAV system which has an endurance up to 18 hours. Its range is listed as 300 km while maximum flight altitude of 20,000 feet. The Indian Navy also uses Searcher Mark II drones. However, currently the biggest user of Searcher is Indian Army. Now if we look at Indian Armed Forces drone inventory, there are no armed male UAVs. The 30 Predator armed drones for tri services at a cost of nearly 3 billion US dollar is pending from pretty long time. Is this a matter of concern or something we should be worried about? Not exactly. The drones are effective in the battlefield where there is air dominance. The Indian borders are contested airspace where armed drones will be an easy target for air defense system. The kind of drone that Indian armed forces need is reconnaissance, kamikaze or societal drones and swan drones. These drones can be used for saturation attack against air defense asset. Besides these attack drones, India needs good number of surveillance and reconnaissance drones which it is already procuring in pretty huge numbers. So besides surveillance drone, Army has also focused in improving its drone strike capabilities. Last year, Indian Army has contracted a deal with joint venture between Bengaluru-based Alpha Design Technology and Israel's Elbit system for supply of 100 units of Sky Striker Lottering Munition. It is a fully autonomous US that can locate, acquire and strike operator designated targets with a 5 kg of warhead installed inside the fuselage, enabling high precision performance. It can reach an area located 20 km away within 10 minutes. It has dual seeker with a day and night capability. The Indian Air Force also uses two kinds of kamikaze drone, Harpy and upgraded Haroops, both procured from Israel. Harpy is an all-weather day and night fire and forget autonomous weapon system that is used to take out enemy radars and hence disable their air defense system. It can also be used to take out other targets. This is launched from a ground vehicle behind the battle zone. 
It has communication range of 200 kilometers and endurance of 9 hours with precision of less than 1 meter with a 16 kg of warhead. Harup is again a lottery missile which serves as electro-optical guided attack weapon. Harup can be used for taking out a large number of targets including moving vehicles. Last year, Indian Army has also awarded New Space Research and Technologies a $15 million contract to supply 100 Swan drones. These drones can carry out a strike against targets at a distance of up to 25 kilometers with 5 to 10 kg of explosives. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.